Um, I got with four of them. The fifth one, I ain't gonna lie, I got knocked out by the G homie. You feel me? But it's all fun though. Oh, you know, fun! That, you smoke your blunt, drink, do what you do, so it's Gucci. You feel me? But after ten, my mamas went from hustling, doing what it do. Something happened. Man, T-Tac gave me a camera that don't, don't smell. Know about like the jungles back in the days. You probably hear about it where. When people tried to come on the block, especially my block, the G-Walk Pinewood, you, police wouldn't even come down there. You couldn't even come through the block. Like, they you should call that Kill Century. Like, wherever you go, if you know your way around the jungles, you'll get trapped. It's like a big-ass Yeah, bro, you, you, you can see on his body, man. That boy look like yeah. Kratos. So we got alleyways, cuts. He look like the black my Kratos. started out as a runner boy for the G-Hummy, doing what it do. Came my year still, you know, doing what it do with the dope. As I got older, you feel me? I got, I want to say what? I know he can I fight. Was six at I nine, didn't know he could fight, son. I want to say around like 12. She said I was too wild, so I had went back in the system. And then I had went to um, juvenile hall. Got Price into is good, a juvenile bro. hall. I got booted out because of my medical. And uh, so when I got booted out, I went home. Never went back to juvenile hall. But on uh, Mama's, I went to hustling. I know you can see my arms and shit. So it's on my arms, my chest, from hustling to gang banging. You feel me? Shit, I got wicked. I got kidnapped. Niggas like tortured, threw in the trunk. I woke up, I was in the trunk, bleeding out and shit. I got you. My big sister Tay. Um, Mama's. You, you, got, you got a lot of cuts. Is that is that what all the cuts are from? Yeah. Oh, yeah so on your my, on your torso. Yeah, my arms. Damn. So my arms, my stomach. But shit, after that, did old oh, mama, so I woke up in the trunk. When I woke up in the trunk, I wasn't even knowing. You feel me? Like, you look the shit up on the internet and shit. That's what this shit from right here. You got shot in the head. It's one of the things, if you look at it, I can show you. It went through the back right here. That's where they shot me. What you the You got shot in the forehead. No, I got shot in the back of the head. You got back shot in the, the back. Head. And it came out. That's why I got a plate in the front. Went through your brain? In the back. Yeah. You know the splinters, the, the same ain't piece. No, the ain't no way, bro. Where your brain, is, it parts or whatever. The different hemispheres. The dude, yeah, that's it. When the dude fired a bullet, it split. So basically, the shit being old, it saved my life. So I wouldn't, wouldn't really call it a misfire, but you know anything about guns and ammunition, like every once in a round. Like with a 223 or 227, the bullet is split when it flip, like piece of it come off. So shit, that motherfucker split, it went through, boom, boom. Oh, mama, I ain't even gonna lie, I thought the bitch missed fire. I didn't even know I was hit. And my girl, she didn't even know once I pulled up. Oh. My sister when I pulled up. Oh, mama, that called my chick, she came and got me. But she just came and got the car, she didn't even know I was in the trunk. You feel me? So my mama's get to sis house, she popped the trunk, boom, I'm out, yada, yada. I just tell her like they was torturing a nigga. Okay, bro, hold on, bro. I ain't gonna lie. My brain can't wrap around. This man got popped dead in his head, bro. Yeah, this nigga need to be like, bro, he need to sign up to be like in an agency or something, man. God, man, what the hell Samuel Jackson them at, bro? This man, he really might need to be an Avenger for real. I ain't never seen no regular person go through no shit like this before. This is a super nigga. Like, no cap. Damn. I see my hands, they broke my fingers and shit. Oh, mama's cut out my tendons. So, shit. Oh, mama, I deal with that. And then I want to say, I want to say, like, what? Around that time, I was like 18. So from there. But was there any damage, any brain damage from that? I had TBI. I was uh, partially paralyzed from the waist down. I had a uh, catheter. They wanted to give me a uh, shit bag, but I they couldn't because uh, I guess when the dude hit me down here, one of the blades. I ain't gonna lie. OG, o, OG, bro. Do rag with no waves is crazy. I ain't gonna count. The shit it tore my um, uh, is it the lower intestines or the big intestines that you shit with? So it had nicked that. So they were saying that if they didn't do the surgery, like like the feces would be leaking and leaking into my stomach. But what they did was they went in there, sewed it, and like still to this day, like I want to say for like the 
I want to say for like the first year, I couldn't eat like no hard foods. Oh, oh, I thought that was an earbuds. I couldn't eat no hard foods. So like for the first year I was eating oatmeal, I couldn't eat no peanut butter, and I could barely eat oatmeal, but like anything that would get me constipated or make me push, I couldn't eat because that shit would tear my insides up. So like to this day, I got a big ass like, you know, like the sterile sponges and the packing, like all around my intestines. They got it locked in and sewed up in there. So like it won't move or bust because it's shit still fucked to this day. So you done prison time? Yeah, I did uh 14 years in the pen. I had got into a uh Damn. I was about to get to. So a couple months, I want to say a couple months later, uh I was taking care of some shit, uh making a deal. Mo, what's good, bro? And the police came. Mario, this shit crazy. On the block, and um I got into a shootout with him. Um uh, that was the second time I got shot in the head. I got hit in the side right here. Oh, mom. You were shot in the, in the head twice. Yeah, I was shot in the head Get twice. Get the fuck! One by the enemigos and one by the police. And when I was shot in the head the second time, my mama, because they said they did it because when they came up, I was belligerent. They said I was intoxicated and uh, I was armed and dangerous. So I'm like, if I'm armed and dangerous, y'all should have came to the house with the SWAT. They didn't come to the house with SWAT or nothing. And like I was saying over there in the jungles, Everybody over there knew my pops, you feel me? Because he was like the nigga that like, made sure the block was good. He did what it do, you feel me? Bro. All the youngest looked up to him. He was like one of them cool ass. Bro, you can't beat nobody that's like this. Like, could you imagine like, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, finna, I'm finna go fight Jungle Boy. Man, you, man, you knew he got shot in the head twice. What? Come on, man. Come on, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, bro, yeah, we need to call this fight off, bro. Cause I'm not fighting nobody that'll live that. What my hands gonna do? My hands ain't gonna do nothing to him. That's OG's big mud bone. Your dad was in the gang as well? Yeah, my dad, he was from 20s. My mama. Well, my dad, my original dad, my biological dad, I don't know that bitch ass nigga. From what me, I got a, me and my older sister, we got the same dad, but like, it's gonna get into a whole cold twist. It's gonna get into a whole cold twist. Whole cold twist. So, me and my sister, Thanks, the one I'm talking quarter. about that got Rigger, the same dad, around when all this shit happened, when I ain't got locked up, shot in the head, and they raided the house and everything on the block, saying that um, I was in a involved in a police officer shooting, and a couple of sheriffs was killed, and the detectives, and yada, yada. They didn't have no proof, no nothing. All they said they had was a phone call. And my case would have got dismissed because at the time I had dreads. And they said that the dude that did it didn't have dreads. The nigga had braids. But it wasn't enough evidence. So I went, I fought my case for two years. And then I ended up getting 14 with 85. But within the two years process, while I'm in the pen, I don't know if my big sister told you, but my sister that me, me and her got the same dad, one of his sons is a sheriff. So why I'm in jail, in the county jail, if you ask anybody about the county jail, the only way you could get in your cell is if the police could, uh, if the police unlock your shit from the tower. So while I'm in there, when I first go in, they tell me they gonna K-12 me. K-12 is like, uh, it's not a PC, but it's, uh, it's basically protective custody because I had a police officer in my family. So they was like, until that get cleared, I'm like, I ain't got no police in my family. The fuck you talking about? Wrong one. They was like, you got a brother named Marvin Pollard, your dad's George Pollard. I'm like, what the fuck, hell? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I ain't never met that nigga or this nigga. Like, it was real shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And they was like, nah, bro, you got this dude. So mamas, while I'm in there, I want to say, once I get out of K-12, I'm in the game module probably like two months. It's about like two in the morning, my cell get cracked. And when my cell get cracked, I'm asleep, but the door is ca cow. It could make that loud ass pop noise. So I kind of woke up, but I didn't. And when I didn't do what I was supposed to do, oh, mama's had a dude hand around my neck. I got sliced from here all the way around. Before they could get to right here, oh, mama's hopped up, did my shit. Walked out the room, my shit was leaking. They said it looked like a slaughterhouse in my room, blood was everywhere and shit. 
And um, they tried to give me an ad charge because the nigga that sliced me up, I killed him. But Damn. at the same time, the district attorney told me that it was self defense. I was single cell because of the uh, 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 my standards of my case and shit. And then so they wanted me, I had to be in the gang module, but they wanted me to where I moved around and everything, you feel me? And I could, um, like how you say, basically run my program, get my phone calls, canteen. But the shit was weird, like the way everything was going. So when that shit happened and I came out the cell, the police came up on me, I'm tripping on them because ain't no way in hell somebody could just pop my door. Like that's a still door. Like if you want to get out that bitch from the inside, like if you big enough and you with the function, you can kick that bitch off the hinges. But other than that, like that shit ain't opening. So they were saying like it was a computer malfunction, this and that, yada, yada, whatever the fuck. So I want to say oh, he three weeks him. after that, I go to court. The judge asked me um, what was the situation about the uh, murder in my cell. I don't like, he like, you ain't got no celly. What was going on? Was you high? I'm like, man, my door was popped while I was asleep. Somebody tried to kill me. I'm like, that came from a share. You feel me? The judge was like, nah, nah, you paranoid. We'll do a whoop. Miss me with that shit. So when I, uh, when I get back, because we was going to um, CCB right down here downtown. So when we get back to the county jail, oh, mamas, that night after I said that, um, I'm in the cell on mamas. I'm sitting in my cell. And I'm posting, I'm making my spread, I eat and shit. And while I'm in there on mama's, my shell get popped. They tell me to step outside. I step outside the door, boom, they tell me to come to the corridor. I come to the corridor. Cause in the corridor, they got like A, B, and C wing. So when I come out there, big ass black dude come get me, cuff me up. Like, what the fuck I'm going? I'm like, man, it's like two, three in the morning, what the fuck going on? They take me in the rec room, they handcuff me to the thing. Oh, mama's the big black dude. Never seen a nigga in my life start welling up. Boom, boom. Nigga broke my jaw. Damn. Boom, boom. I had two broken ribs. The nigga dislocated my shoulder. It came to find out that uh, the nigga was my brother. It was my what? dad. Yeah, all bushes to the side. It was my dad's oldest son. The nigga fucked me up, came in there, said I was, uh, I put a rat, uh, rat, a bad name on our family's last name. And yada yada, and I'm like, nigga, I don't even know you. I don't even know none what? of my family. You feel me? Like, what the fuck is you on? And they was like, well, whoop de whoop whoop, and this and that. So, on um, mama's, I ended up, I woke up in the hospital, face swollen, yada yada. So, I wanna say, um, it's 2008. Y'all looked that shit up on the internet. 2008, on mama's. I go to court, I wanna say, I wanna say it was a fourth or fifth time. Oh. You look it up on the internet, 2008, that shit's still on there. I'm the nigga that was shot for the third time. Not in the head no more, but that's when I was hit in the face. On oh, mama's inside the court. You've had a lot of people try to kill you. Huh? You've had a lot of people try to kill you. Nah, that's because they try, well, that, yeah, it's, I wanna say it's the way shit. Bro, I got shot in the face in the courthouse. Including mama. your own family. Huh? Including your own family. Yeah, oh mama. But that's just on my dad's side. Like on my mom's side, ain't nobody like on my mom's side, it's all love. But my dad, like them motherfuckers is like them weird. Like my auntie and them, they been trying to talk to me since he passed away. You feel me? And link up with me and everything. But it's just like everybody see everything good and they don't see that one side to the shit I went through on the inside. You feel me? And like my sister and them, they tell me all the time, like stay away from me, yada yada, cause they fake, whoop de whoop. But it's just principles like, oh mama, so when I was in court, oh, God. this fool shot me oh, cause God. they said I tried to escape. And like, how you gonna escape? They said, cause I punched the glass window. Oh mama's the judge when he started, when she started talking about my time. I ain't expected to say that much time that soon. So when I went there, they was talking about giving me 365 years. Damn. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, y'all tripping. I'm like, what the fuck am I facing again? Uh, they were like, um, double homicide on uh, uh, police officer. They were like, uh, it was double homicide on police officer. And they gave me like 11 tempted murders. So I was like, y'all, y'all out your rabbit ass mind. Y'all got me fucked up. Like, that's out. And uh, my cock back pushed the window. And the officer, like, he came inside the tank. And I don't know if you can see. 
you see like two little black spots on my side? Yeah, yeah. The nigga, he cared. I was so hyped up. He came, held the taser to me for like five minutes. I didn't go down. I kept punching the window, broke it out. And on everything, when I tried to climb out the window where they, um, you know how it blocks the uh, court, the, the take from the judge. When I tried to climb out that bitch, my mama's the deputy, he done my shit. But that shit went through, and all the I could, I should knock out my wisdom tooth and shit. So shit, my, that shit was, and I was in there, that's the crazy part. They thought I was high on drugs in there, but I wasn't, I was just mad. I've, never seen, I've never seen anybody with as many wound, uh, scars as you. Bro, this man, uh, yeah, that's what a lot of people be sure. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a there's hundred knife wounds on your torso. Yeah, they, everybody be telling me I look like, uh, and they like, I'm a real African black panther. You know, the evil one. Oh, mamas. But, oh. like, that shit. Yeah, this shit, man, a lot of people don't know, man. All this shit, though, all this shit right here, right here, this shit came from the kidnapper. Like, shit like this right here, these deep ones right here, this one, that's a gunshot wound. This one is from getting stabbed up in the can. How far did you go to school? Me? Yeah. Oh, I graduated. I went to the 12th grade. You did? Yeah, I graduated school. Do you, do you regret joining a gang? Huh? Do you regret joining a Damn, gang? Do I regret going in, joining a gang? At the end of the day, nah, because it taught me, like, I ain't going to say, like, it taught me who I am, but it taught me more about being a man and, you know what I'm saying, walking the streets. Like, I tell these young cats, this gang banging shit, it's not a joke, it's not play, this shit a lifestyle. No matter where you go, Niggas, if niggas know you, they know you. So you feel me? It was just what Halloween. On oh, Mama's Halloween, me, and my daughter, and um, my um, god nieces, we driving, boom, boom. On oh, Mama's, niggas seen me, they knew me, knew the car, they lit that bitch up. On Halloween this year, shot my car up, boom, I got out, went to do, and just that's when I got ago. hit in the nuts. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I got shot in the nuts on Halloween. Oh. Mr. Tay was laughing at me because when they came, my shit was cocked up like this. <laughs> oh, and everything. But she was tripping about that shit. She was like, nigga, how is oh. you still up walking? Nigga, you even shot in the head, the face. Now, nigga, you shot in the nuts. So, all together, what? I say gunshot wounds. If you want me to go through gunshot story, I want to say all together with the three facial, it'll be, what, 28? 28 times I was shot. So like it was, man, like niggas don't understand that And there's about 100, 100 or more stab wounds on you. Oh, the stab wounds, I wanna say that's about like, I wanna say like 175 Yeah. on mama. And then I got them on my back too, where like niggas. You think it's like, karma? Karma from doing what I was doing oh, when I was shot younger. 28 yeah. times. Um, how, how many people do you think you killed? Man, you want me to speak on that on camera? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Damn. No, we're not naming names. Oh, okay. We're just rough, uh, rough number. Rough number. Uh, I don't say before I went to jail. Rough number. Between ten and fifteen. Including the guy in prison too, right? And then, the, and then there's a guy in prison. Yeah, too. the dude before I went to jail about ten, fifteen. Then. Uh, in jail, in the county, only one in the county because the nigga he tried to slice my shit. Yeah. And then in the pen, I had a broken cat neck because we got into a melee. And uh, the nigga, oh, mama's shit was wicked. The nigga, I don't know if you see this right here, but you can see it? Yeah. Yeah, so oh. uh, we squabbing on mama's, we squabbing. A dude run up, I dunk low and I came, bam, slap his ass. But when I came up, on oh, mama's, we had got into a riot with the woods. So when I came up, on oh, mama's, a nigga had like a little four little, but I don't wanna say like that big, a little The woods is the, the white people. And he stuck me in my shit all the way in. I ain't even know the nigga had that shit that much shit on oh, mama. Boom, bam, getting with it, boom, bam. With the shit hanging in my shit and all that, getting with it, boom, bam. Picked the nigga up, slammed him on his neck. Oh, mamas, I turn around, get with it some more. And uh, the homies, they looking at me all funny and shit. I'm like, fuck y'all staring at nigga like these niggas running up. We doing our shit, boom, boom. Next thing I know, the homie like, bro, you got a knife sticking out your head. I'm like, blood, stop playing. I turn around and get off, boom, bam. And when I turn around and get off, 
The homie, he screamed, and it's a real ass nigga. Like, this the Damu on me for night. He passed out. What the fuck? Homie's like, bro, you got a knife. So when I reached to pull the shit out, oh, mama, that's when they shot me with the mini 14 in my leg. You know what the mini 14 is? Shit, no. It's like the, okay, it's the, okay, you ever hear, you ever hear people say we don't get no warning, they don't get no warning shots? So it's a mini 14. It's the big ass, it's the rifle that shoots the 223 rounds. So I got hit in the leg with the 223, the mini 14. Nigga, whoa, so from wait. here. They shoot niggas with red bullets in prison? I thought they shoot rubber bullets. To here is all is still raw. So like my bone was reconfigured and everything. But the whole time I'm standing up, we squabbling, yada, yada. And I wouldn't go down, so the lieutenant, the lieutenant Nolan, he came out and uh, the homies, they surrounded me because I wouldn't get down. I was like out of it. I ain't gonna say I was zombied out, but when I get mad, I just nut up. Like, it's like all red, it's, it's done for. So while we was um, doing that, the lieutenant Nolan, he came up on the yard. They was like, Pollard, man, I need you to get down. I'm like, man, y'all niggas shot me some. You feel me? I'm like, I got this shit in my head. I need to take it out. I'm like, I can't feel my face. He like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, I was going to take it out. Next thing I know, I get hit. Like, this is bullshit, bro. Y'all trying to kill me in here, too. I'm like, I just left the county. Now y'all niggas trying to take me on the pen. Like, what the fuck going on? So, on Mama Nolan, he do the shit A1. He take off. Like, they got it to where they could hog tie you with the strap on their ankle. So he take that off and he put the little, whatever they want to call it, tourniquet on my leg to stop the bleeding because the shit hit the artery and all oh, that. Oh, they shot this nigga for real. They lay me down, hella back me. I come back, go to the hole, yada, yada. I get out, but no, I kind of skip some shit. One thing that I didn't leave out, like it's a big, I don't know if you know about the shit that's going on with Sheriff Baca. You know Sheriff Baca, yeah, right? Yeah. How he got fired and nigga jail time and all that. So I'm under one of those cases where the nigga, uh, they investigating him under me for one of the shits when I was in the county jail. So apparently after all that shit, I wanna say about the third time, I had my cell got popped on oh, mama's. Uh, they moved me to, uh, not PC, but they moved me up to the medical floor because I kept having seizures. Who I guess Sheriff whatever Parker? the motherfucker had did. <laughs> yeah, yeah all, the, all the bullets through your brain at night. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you're I gonna kept, have seizures at some point. Yeah, so I kept having seizures and shit. So they moved me to the medical floor. So when I'm in the medical floor, I'm thinking everything gonna be gravy. They let you call home, yada yada. So while I'm up there, and they start doing weird shit like the sheriffs. All of them was cool except for this one Mexican. So I want to say like, I want to say for like the first five months. I swear to you not, probably like once a week I was getting down with the sheriffs. Boom, boom, get them. Brr. Oh, mama's getting tased. It'll be one taser, two <laughs> tasers, swipe the white. Bro, what? You feel me? So it got to the point to where, and I ain't gonna lie, I learned my lesson too after that. Cause uh, they ended up getting the biggest spending dude off my uh, floor. But I got with him, boom, boom. And then this uh, one sheriff named Marietta, he came up Say, while good, I was bro? taking off on his partner. They was tasing me and I wasn't going down, so that nigga, he actually put me to sleep. <laughs> like, I don't like, I ain't never been put to sleep before. You, like, you, Do you believe in karma? Yeah. <laughs> do I think that was karma? No, do you believe in karma? Yeah, I believe in karma to the fullest on mama. I believe in karma. Karma's a bitch. Like, to the fullest. But you're still, you're still standing. Huh? You're still standing, though. Yeah, and that's the I thing. I don't think karma worked on him, bro. Because his karma came back a million times, obviously, we didn't see him. And it, why Karma ain't why Karma ain't beat him yet? Karma done got this man shot in the head three times, shot his goddamn femur, knowing that if you get shot there and that artery start bleeding, and you over with, bro. Yeah, everybody tell me like, oh, mama, they say your book is written before your ass come out your mama coochie. So you feel me? Before you come on, your story he ain't says, he from the reboot. beginning to the end is already ready. You got nine lines. So, Huh? You got nine lives. Yeah, I said that. My nieces call me Wolverine and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, that shit, man. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, like, technically nine, nine lives, because she, like, just, just on the streets, I just really died a couple times. And Facts. in the pen, I'm talking about 
shit, it's to the point where they got a federal investigation, not just on the shit that happened in the county jail, but in the pen from them not giving me my medical medication. I just, man, all type of shit. The niggas trying to kill me in the pen. My shell getting popped in the pen. I'm waking up after they get down with niggas in the pen, getting stabbed, all type of shit. Do you have any, do you have any regrets in your life? Any regrets? Uh, I say the only regret I say that I have Like all bush to the side, the only grit that I have is basically going to the pen. Cause I wasn't out there for my nephews and shit. You feel me? So Do you have, do you have kids? Me, yeah, I got a daughter. Oh mama. I got a daughter and I didn't even know about her until what? I wanna say like my tenth year in. Yeah. Well you you spent half your life in prison. Yeah, oh, my mom I went in when I was um what, eighteen? 18, yeah, I went in the county jail, 18, and from 18, I didn't get out until- uh, They tried to get that boy 365 years. Got out 2021. Damn. So, yeah, that's what, that was like, what, 2007, eight, 2007? So 2007 to 2021. George, what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? The most important lesson? Like, oh, mamas never take family for granted, you feel me? And one thing I don't ever do, I see all this shit down here, everything. I ain't never doing no drugs. I didn't sold this shit. I just seen the gang wars over it, the the blood over it, everything. Like, this shit, this shit vicious. I didn't cook this shit, rocked it, everything, you feel me? But I can't fuck with it like these niggas fuck with it. They want to smoke it, nah, that's out. You never played around with drugs? I smoke weed, that's it. Like, everything goes. I can't do it. Like, I know me like, like I know me like, I like pussy, I like weed, I like eating food. So at the end of the day, I know me, I got like, how you say, like the addictive- uh, Personality. Like, yeah, you feel me? So I feel that if I start something and I like it too much, it ain't gonna be no stopping, no rehab. So before I do that, like I'm gonna distance myself from it. Facts. Like old mama, that's why I won't sell nothing that I use. If I smoke weed, so I won't sell weed. If I'm gonna sell something, it's gonna be Chris, Cavi, some shit like that. You feel me? Cause I know I ain't gonna oh. touch that shit. So there was one time I went to a G homie and asked him for a cigarette. The nigga gave me a cigarette. Man, that shit was laced with CERN. I must have ran from Crenshaw, what was that? Crenshaw Stalker to Crenshaw King to King and Buckingham to the block asshole naked. Cause of the water, like they said, I took off down the street. While I'm running, I'm coming out my clothes. That man, PCP will mama. mess you up. Huh? That PCP will mess you up. Yeah, man, on mama, I was like, what the fuck? And then my dad, I ain't know what the fuck it was. My dad, when I came out, he seen my eyes. And AJ was good. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm going up on him. They like, what the fuck? Who you smoke shine with? I'm like, I ain't smoke no shine. All I did was get a cigarette from the big homie. He was like, who the fuck? I told him. He was like, man, that shit. Big homie and pops, they got out and they took their homie fade, boom, bam. Pops knocked him out. And uh, my mama, she got out there though. This my mama, as you probably heard from my sister, my mama crazy. My mama got out there like, y'all hoes foul, we'll do a wolf drug my baby, we'll do a wolf. And my dad like, yeah, hey, they didn't do shit, it was a nigga, you feel me? That's why I got out with him. But the homegirls, cause I ran on the block, they was like cuffing my ass and trying to grab my shit and shit. <laughs> well, I was fucked up and they was recording this shit. So and everything, pops took me in the house, gave me some milk, put me in the shower. That shit came down after that, I said never again. Like I get homies all the time. Like if I'm out there selling crystal or some shit, they be like, bro, you, you not even close, bro. I sell that shit, get the money, boom, bam. Yada, yada, anything else, yada, yada. Niggas ask me that shit all the time. SBC was good, bro. And on mama, I was just disciplined like that. Cause I started selling dope when I was young. Before Man, I watching, came out here, you feel me? We watching uh, probably one of the craziest stories I've ever Hurt in my freaking life, bro. This man has been shot three times in the head. He's been uh, he's been shot over twenty eight times. He's had over one hundred seventy five stab wounds, bro. And he and he didn't put fifteen people down. And got shot in the nuts. Like, this man the real live Kratos, bro. 
He cradles, bro. So you started selling dope at, at ten years old. Yeah, y'all should have lost, bro. CJ Stroud did everything he could, bro. He showed why, why he wanted one, one of the people. Like Aaron boy. And we did our mm -hmm. goals today, bro. We did I our new twenty twenty three goals, man. Cut the shit, cut it up, and go drop it off. Oh, mama, my G homie, he give my little thing for the week. You feel me? I go get my dollars plus my money from cooking and cutting it up and running it around. So shit, when I was doing that at ten, I had my little moolah. My mama tell you, it didn't matter, you feel me? She'll go up in the refrigerator. My little sister, she done found the shit plenty of times. She'll go in there, big ass bag of hot Cheetos. You think it's hot Cheetos? On oh, mama's, it's a bundles of ones, fives, tens, all up in the bag. Mama going in the freezer. She see the ice cream boxes full of stacks of money and shit. And that's when my pops, he not my biological father, but he was my dad, like the nigga. Like he raised me, he put me on, you feel me, put me out there. So he had me on everything. He sat me down, talked to me, like, what the fuck is all this? I'm like, gosh, man, like, nigga, I'm getting it. Like, I'm tired. Damn, buddy, boy, that's tough. I don't want to wear feelers and all this other shit no more. And shit like that. He was like, man, I right, just be safe with you, whoop. He was like, let a nigga know what's going on in my household, though. I'm like, for sure, say less. What, what do you see for your future? Huh? What do you, you just got out of prison a few years ago? Oh, me? Yeah, I got out of prison in 2021. 2021. Oh, okay. Mama. Just last year? Uh, last year, um, I went to in March. What do, you, what do you see for your future? What do you want to do? What do I see for my future? Um, Any chance you can be back in? Receive, bro. Receive. This is probably the craziest story ever. You're going you to have to watch on your own, though. Uh, watch on YouTube, uh, Lil Jungle Boy, bro. He been shot 28 times. Three times in the head, one time in the nuts. He been stabbed over 175 times. He been tortured. Uh, man, this boy been through everything. In prison again? Hell no, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I done told my family, I ain't going back to jail. They gonna have to kill me. I swear to God, I am not going back to jail. They gonna have to really pop me. Cause and you got 15 bodies. That's all. I, I swear to you not, my family didn't think I was gonna make it out. When I say the police was trying to kill me, bro, like, them niggas was trying to kill me. Like, that shit's like sad. Like, it's it's to the point where the homies is coming up to me like, nigga, you know the police, they got a, um, they call that shit like a jug. They put a jug out on. Like, niggas out here call it green light, but they were saying like I was a little jug. You feel me? Like, oh, mamas, if it was an issue, they'll send the inmate towards my way because it was already facts out that for one, they had me labeled as a cop killer. For two, they had me labeled that I had the green light on me for my brother. So it was already a goal to take me out for the police. So that shit was just fun and game. And in the pen, the I don't know he if you heard bro. about the shit for like the gang members and shit. You ever heard of Green Wall? The police, they got their little gang in there. So mama's in there. Police, you say one thing stupid. That's only at uh, Salinas Valley. And his brother, a police. And his brother, bro, his brother put him in the room. Put him in the rec room, bro. Tied him, tied him to a chair, and beat him up. His own flesh and blood, son. His own flesh and blood, bro. Whole police. But um, mamas, when I was at Salinas Valley, that's where I got into the ride at. And after I got shot, I was in the hole. I was in the little um, infirmary shit. Then I went to the hole. While I'm in there, mamas, I say some. I ain't even say it was some weird shit. It was some smart mouth shit. But the sheriff, he asked me, was I hungry? I said, what the fuck it looked like? Hell yeah, I'm hungry. I'm like, canteen ain't for another week. He was born in Louisiana. Uh, he was born in New Orleans. And then he moved to Chicago. And then I think he went to prison or some shit in California. Like, hell yeah, I'm hungry. They say end of the month. <laughs> like, I want my breakfast tray. He was like, yo, bitch ass ain't got a woo to woo. And I'm like, your bitch ass can just give me the tray, nigga, and shut it up. It's too early. He like, oh, I got you, Paula. He like, nigga, you want to get out? I'm like, nigga, give me my tray, nigga. When I'm done eating, we can get out. It's whatever, nigga. I'm hungry. I'm just thinking I'm talking shit. He talking shit because they say that shit all the time. So after they come pick up the trays, I'm sitting there doing my morning workout. Man, this nigga come tap my door like, Paula, uh, the sergeant want to see. I'm like, what? He like, the sergeant want to see. I'm like, what? And me is. Yeah, like, he, he want me to pull you out. And he can pull me out instead of walking to the office right across. This nigga take me in the back towards the worst name. Like, what the fuck? 
And the nigga that I talk shit to, he's like, you still want to get down? I'm like, what the fuck? I look around like, nigga, this is a joke. Y'all about to give me an ad charge? What the fuck? They're like, nah, nigga, we going to get in. Nigga took off his, uh, his little vest shit, his utility thing, his belt shit. He got out there. I don't know if that nigga thought he was going to whoop my ass or what. <laughs> got on a bing, bam, dropped this bitch ass. <laughs> Homeboy rest me, the rest of the um, little CO, boom, bam. Fuck they ass up. <laughs> but on mamas, I want to say, after like the fourth person, I turned around and all I heard was ding. That nigga hit me with that billy club. <laughs> My shit with lights out. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know if you can see at the top right here when the little shit where it split my shit. <laughs> Another scar. Yeah, oh, mom. That's why that shit split my shit. I feel that. I still feel that shit to the day on everything because it got like keloid, keloid skin on it and everything. Like that shit was fucked up. Like, oh, mom was. I woke up in my room, but I ain't do no snitching. I ain't snitching on police or nothing, oh, mama. When um, they came and found me, before the fool left, it was like, man, you did that shit like a G, bro. You ain't scream, coughing no uh, wooty woo. I'm like, nah, I did it like a G, but y'all niggas some bitches, bro. You knocked me out with a baton, my nigga. You's a bitch. It was like, all right, nigga, when you want to get out, I'm like, nah, I ain't getting down again, nigga, because you ain't going to hit me with no baton again, nigga. Like, you got the game fucked up, bro. But the homies was telling me, like, bro, you did your shit. You did your shit. I'm like, yeah, but that nigga knocked me out. He got the end melee, though. Like, that nigga, he got the end function of it. All right, George. Thank you so much for sharing your story, man. For sure, boy. I appreciate it, man. Stay safe. All right. Stay out of for prison. Sure. Stay out of prison. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, bro. <laughs> bro. That shit crazy, bro.